Welcome to Backwards America. I'm told we have breaking news, but I'm your co-host, Lucas. Uh, let's get straight into it. It's about the presidential race, mostly Donald Trump. Donald Trump has cases filing up like him and Deshaun Watson. Yeah, Deshaun had like 28 cases. A uh, couple differences there, though. You know, Donald likes to get handsy, and Deshaun likes handies. You know, hand jobs. Yeah. Um, another difference is, is uh, Deshaun got paid for his, I think, $240 million over five. So go Browns, baby. Uh, Donald will probably file bankruptcy, so he doesn't have to pay any of those charges for grabbing that pussy. But, uh, yeah. Over to Eugene with sports and other entertainment stuff. I'm your co-host, Eugene, here with sports. Let's get into it. So Jalen Hurts, highest paid athlete for like two seconds, and Lamar Jackson took it. Now, let's talk about what's more impressive, all right? Because no one cares about Jalen Hurts. No one cares about the Eagles. Go Browns, baby. Um, but let's talk about Jalen Hurts' team. Not his football team, then women. Okay, the women, fantastic agents. Whatever they're doing, keep doing that shit. You go, girl. Girls run the world. Now, let's talk about the strategy, though, right? Now, I'm not demeaning their intelligence, but do you guys know what the term honey potting is? Honey potting is like taking a sexy girl, putting her in front of some dork, and the dork's gonna pay attention and listen and have no idea what he's actually saying because he's distracted by the pussy, the titties, that ass. But basically. I think he, they're going in these meetings, you know, little cleavage out, because everybody knows what the NFL is, old white men, all right? That's what it is. Those are the people running the meetings. So he going in, they're going in there looking good as fuck, intelligent as fuck. No one likes a stronger and intelligent woman than anybody, all right? Because you, you, it's hard to find. It's hard to compete with, all right? I didn't mean that. It is not hard to find. There's a, no, there's not. A lot of these motherfuckers are dumb as shit, but... Either way, so I think he honey potting them. They're going in there, distracting them with them big ass titty, big ass, ass, and getting these deals done, right? So Jalen Hurts, I see what you did there. Atta boy. All right, sports is over. So if I didn't bore you enough with politics, I'll bore you with more politics. You know, let's talk about school. Republicans are trying to pay uh, teachers more. I think that's uh, I think that's good because kids are absolute menaces. Teenagers are absolutely horrifying. Yeah. I mean, I think we could also uh, think about hiring some hotter teachers, you know. Get the kids' full attention, you know, guy or girl, you know. You know, if the guy's got a bulge, you're not going to you're not gonna take your eyes off that. Teacher's got a good rack, you know. Definitely not going to take your attention off that. So if they're in the front of the board, the board's going to be my view too. But either way, um, I think teachers need to be paid more too because they're on the front lines, man. These school shootings have gotten out of hand, all right? They got a, they're battle ready. They're first responders, okay? Now, their KD's not as good as these white kids, all right? These white kids, they got to be good at something, right? You know, all the sports are gone, okay? I, I don't want to get in the race here because it's a sore subject. But the white kids had to be good at one sport, and they chose to be good at Call of Duty in real life. Um, that KD, looking real fantastic right now. Uh, but more on a serious note. Let's get serious here. Uh, these are the people that shape the young minds. You know, they have our kids like 50% of the time. I don't have any kids. Fuck them. Kids. But uh, yeah, they have kids about 50% of the time. You know, they're babysitters, they're teachers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, yeah, they influence these children. They influence young minds. So let's get them paid, all right? But seriously, fuck them kids, all right? Knock them over. Do something. Hit them. I don't care what you do. Abuse them children. Okay, well, I'm your co-host, Lucas. We're going to move it on to Eugene with entertainment, sports, whatever he's got for you. I don't know. I don't really care. But let's get to it, baby. Eugene. So let's just say sports. All right, I'm a dork. I don't really give a fuck about sports. I love sports. Go Browns. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the Met Gala. The Met Gala is always, I don't know what the fuck it is. You know, I'm, I may be a newscaster at, for the moment, but no one really knows what the Met Gala is. I think it's just a party that just says famous people are better than us commoners. Uh, yeah, I'm a commoner, all right? I'm broke. I'm a college student um, for now. But these famous people come in with these crazy ass outfits. Some of them look to be fire, you know? Madison Klein, you know, she was looking, who the fuck is that Madeline Klein? Madeline Klein was looking fiery as hell. Um, Rihanna was looking good as always. Go, go boo, go boo boo. Um, some other people. But Jared Leto came in as a full cat costume. A full cat. Boy was coughing up fur balls, all right? He, I don't, I don't know what he was thinking. But they go to this party and I, I constantly think to myself, Famous people getting away with all this weird ass shit, right? They be doing crazy ass shit all the time. Like Amber Heard. I know we're a little past the subject, 
but she's shitting on people's beds. You can't be doing that, girl. Jared Leto showing up in a full cat costume. I mean, like, hey, if you a furry, you a furry. Go ahead. Period, poo. Pooping that cat litter. I don't know what the f- you want to do. Uh, but bestiality's not okay. But either way, I think famous people need to be studied because there's something seriously wrong with these m****s. Now, Doja Cat. She dressed up as a cat, right? Now. I'm going to let that slide because her name has cat in it. So she can dress up as a cat. She can do what the fuck she wants. She's dressing up as herself, basically. Right. Um, I'm against animal abuse. But I beat that pussy up. You know what I'm saying? Eh. All right. But I think that's all we got for you today. So, yeah. Met Gal was weird. Uh, Jalen Hurts. Hell yeah, dude. Lamar Jackson took more of your money. But it's cool. Um, He got MVP. You didn't. Uh, Yeah. I think that's it. Signing off. I'm going to call Eugene. Lucas. Hey, thanks for coming back to another episode of Backwards America, where shit just doesn't make sense here because it's America. It's the home of the brave and home of the dumbasses. We do dumb shit here, but we do it cool. Coolly. It doesn't matter. But like and subscribe to this video because uh, I'm a lazy piece of shit and I don't really want to get a real job after I graduate college. So if you can support the dream, I know I sound desperate, but like and subscribe. Thank you. Love you. Peace.